Every day after chemo, we would come home and we would run at least three miles together. My wife was my coach. Sometimes I didn't really feel like running, but she got me out there and she was with me through that whole process. Head and neck cancer is the sixth most common cancer in the world. There has been an increase in throat cancers, and a lot of these throat cancers are being caused by HPV or the human papillomavirus. When Jonathan came to see me, it was clear that he had a tumor in his tonsil throat area. And it was about the size of a golf ball. Why I had ignored it at that size for so long, I, I you know, to this day I regret, but that's what I did. Because of the location of the tumor, it can affect speech, it can affect breathing, it can affect swallowing. And given that he had a young daughter, we wanted to proceed with the surgery so we could then understand what the best therapy was for him. I love running because it's been with me for so long. At the age of 12, I ran my very first race, one kilometer. I've been running ever since. Oh, while well, you're thinking how running is great, how cheap. You met your wife through running. Mm -hmm. If you didn't beat me in that half marathon, I wouldn't have never. You never married me. Never. I know. You know right. Running actually made you married, you know. It's true. This was an active thing that I could do to really prove to myself that I'm fighting this. I wasn't sitting in bed feeling sorry for myself. I was getting my chemo treatment, coming home, and going for a run. These cars are like, what is going on? Who are these movie stars? <laughs> the surgery itself that I had that Dr. St. John conducted was just phenomenal. The robot has revolutionized surgery on the throat. We're able to use the very fine arms and the precision of the visualization to remove the tumor without any facial incisions, and patients can go home in a few days. My uh, radiologist looked at my throat in my last visit, and he said he could hardly tell that I'd had surgery. Everything about the UCLA experience was clearly geared towards patient care, patient understanding, and patient education. My cancer treatment has put me in a place of appreciation. I can't wait for the next chapter of my life to spend with my kids and my wife and enjoy life to its fullest.